Good morning. Here we are back on the boat. Beautiful Hunters Hill. And um, I'm going to work on something today that's been troubling me for a little while, and that is the uh, leaking mast. So let's have a look at that. As you'd be aware, there are two popular ways to step a mast on a yacht. The first one shown on the left is a cabin stepped uh, mast, and you would have a compression pole underneath that going down to the keel. And the second way is to uh, step the mast on the keel itself. And that's the way that LRA is set up. With a keel stepped mast, you're going to require some kind of rubber boot at the point where the mast enters the cabin. Uh, and that is for the purpose of keeping the weather out. The only problem is they don't work exactly as they are designed to do. So weather still gets down into them. I have seen also some other versions where uh, it's just basically a canvas shroud around the bottom and that would be more cosmetic than anything else. The leaker in the mast has been a constant source of frustration for me and you'll recall in my spruce up video uh, I talked about exactly the same thing. And being an old boat it uh, tends to leak a little bit particularly around this area here where the mast uh, comes right down to uh, the floor and um, yeah drip drip drip. Every time that I get a decent shower of rain or a decent uh, few days of rain, there is um, uh, wet carpet to dry out. So I was pretty determined to find a solution for this dripping and uh, I was going to try everything I could possibly find. And I was really happy after some research to uh, discover something I hadn't thought of before. As I pull the, the collar at the bottom of the mask up, um, Mask, mast. There doesn't seem to be uh, too many gaps there in the sealant. It's been, it's been a pretty good job done. I have noticed some gaps, and uh, sealant does have some cracks in it. So I did a little, did a bit, did a little bit of research, and um, somebody showed me. Somebody showed me this. Have a look at this. And this product is apparently um, works very, very well. It's flexible. It continues to hold its uh, uh, waterproofness. And um, I'm going to give that a try. I've got some gloves because it looks like it might be a messy job. So I'll sp smear that around the mast and then I will uh, pull the collar back down again and tighten it up. Let's, let's see how that goes. Well, let's give this a try. Put these gloves on. I think it could be very messy. rain expected later on this afternoon so be a perfect opportunity to test it all out let's see what we've got here these were about uh, I bought two of them just in case <clears throat> oh yeah there we go um, it's quite firm as I thought it might be um, <clears throat> they were um, I think just under ten dollars of bunnings Let's give that a go. This could be messy. Applying the wax really was a simple task. I made sure that I used wax on the, on the top and bottom edges of the sealant and I covered all the sealant itself as well because I noticed some cracks in there. It's probably worthwhile leaving the wax on the deck for a little bit just to let it soften up. But even in its state, uh, and the day was about 20 degrees Celsius, maybe a little bit less, the wax was still workable uh, and it was a very simple task. I think we might have got coverage. All right, let's put the let's put the the collar back down again. Cover all that mess up. 
wasn't a lot of room to pull the collar up because of this so I had to uh, it's basically fold it up and it's probably an easy thing because now it just folds straight back down into its original position I have to say I was a little skeptical, but I am absolutely thrilled that I have finally stopped the leak at my mast. Um, it has been absolutely bone dry through lots and lots of recent rain, through a big storm that you'll see in my next video. Not one drip has come through. I highly recommend using this type of wax to seal that mast leak between um, the cabin and the mast. Please remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.